yeah, I'm gonna put like a dropper full on my hand here, and then I like to add the matcha and hydrating cleanser by Grave Beauty to this. Um, that's actually the cleanser I use in the morning because it's very gentle and light. But if I found that if I added, okay, nice one, Maggie, good job. I found that if I added to the oil cleanse, then um, it helps it to emulsify when I add water. So I'm gonna be doing a double cleanse, and this is just the first step to remove my sunscreen. See, I'm trying to really rub it in and break down all of that sunscreen. It's a mineral-based sunscreen, so it is white. And you'll see in a second when I rinse it off. I don't wear foundation or anything during the day. I just wear a mineral sunscreen. Um, I find that just focusing on my skincare allows my skin to get to the point where I feel comfortable not wearing a foundation. And then my skin looks better because of it, so it's a win-win. Just grabbing a little um, uh, upcycled. I say upcycled as if it's been improved, but it's basically just an old t shirt that I cut up and I use them for face claws. Yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is emulsify my facial cleanser. Um, and emulsifying just means adding water to it so it turns kind of milky and helps it rinse away. Um, you can see that the Adding the matcha and hydrating cleanser is given a little bit of a foam, which makes it a lot nicer to rinse off. And I'm just going to make sure that it's massaged into my mascara before I rinse to try and break it all down. Okay, and then I'm just using the wet cloth here, and you can see all the sunscreen that's been broken down. So I'm using that to sort of wipe off the rest of the cleanser and any mascara that didn't wash away when I emulsified. super gentle with my under eye area. Um, to be honest, I don't really care, which sounds really funny for someone who cares so much about skincare, but like, I don't know, I just don't really have the patience. Ah, Mac, you're so fucking funny, aren't you? Okay, so this, <laughs> this is actually like a DIY, a DIY face wash that I made. Um, Normally, I kind of hate DIYs, but I really love this one. So this is a raw, local honey, um, Dr. Bronner's unscented castile soap and vegetable glycerin. And it's about halfway filled up with honey, and then uh, a quarter of the way filled up with Dr. Bronner's and a quarter of the way with vegetable glycerin. And then I like to put a couple pumps on my Foreo, get my face nice and wet, and use that. Um, honey is actually really great for your skin because it's naturally antibacterial and it's moisturizing, so it's good for acne prone skin types. And then the castile soap, while it is a soap, I find it's actually quite gentle, um, especially if you're not using too much of it. And the vegetable glycerin is a natural humectant. A humectant means that it's going to draw moisture from the air and into your skin. It's kind of like the OG hyaluronic acid for anyone who's into skincare out there. I just buy it from Whole Foods. You can get it at any um, natural grocery store. So it creates a really nice, rich lather, especially when using the Foreo. So I'm just going to rinse that all off now. I don't need the cloth for this one. Oh my god, I totally forgot. I actually also put sweet almond oil in that face wash as well. I can't believe I forgot that. I don't usually add any essential oils or anything to my face wash. Um, for the most part, I just find that added essential oils can be quite irritating, so I don't totally see the point. But um, you could totally add tea tree oil or something if you really wanted to. And then I just use this organic cotton. Um, it's actually a, technically a cloth diaper, but I find them to be really good for my skin and hair care. And I love using organic cotton. I'm that hippie girl. And my things always get wet, so let's just try and dry them off. So you can see me now in my full glory with no makeup on. Oh yeah, okay, so this is a rose water and glycerin toner. Again, my bay glycerin coming into play here. Rose water is great for balancing the pH of your skin. Um, your skin is supposed to be naturally acidic, and rose water helps with that, and it smells fucking amazing. So, the next thing I'm going to use is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant, which is basically just a salicylic acid. Um, this is a really, really good product. I just have the travel size because it was ten freaking dollars for this tiny one, but it's lasted me a really long time using it, um, 
100% in squalane from the ordinary. I had missed retinol so much when I was pregnant, so it's nice to have it back. Okay, and then I'm going to use the Meow Meow Tweet Chamomile Yarrow Gel Face Toner. Yeah, it's, yeah, not, it's not really readable, is it? Um, basically, this is just a bunch of hydrosols, which are like a gentler version of essential oils, and then more glycerin, and um, ferments. So it's like fermented ingredients, which ferments are really, really good for brightening the skin. And again, I love glycerin for really moisturizing my skin. And then next comes my one true love, which the ordinary is nice and amide, 10% plus zinc, 1% oh my god, so I started using this when I was pregnant to deal with um, hormonal acne and honestly, it's just like the best product ever it is dealt, it's dealt with my pores and brightening my skin my under eye area, literally anything you need help with niacinamide can help you out so, um, the one thing I will say about this product is it can pill up if you don't, if you use too much of it or don't use it correctly, so I got about two and a half years experience now and I find that just using like a fingernail sized amount tends to work pretty well. Yeah, just two more steps. Okay, so this next one that I use, um, I did not buy this. This was given to me by my best friend because uh, she had an allergic reaction to it because she has like the most sensitive skin ever. So this is the Pete Rivko Balancing Facial Oil. Uh, the kind of hero ingredient in this, I believe, is prickly bear oil. It's ultra, ultra rich. You only need a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. But I personally love this oil. Um, I wouldn't use it during the day. I don't think it's really sort of the type of oil that you'd want during the day unless you have super dry skin. But I just kind of use this to lock everything in, especially after using so many glycerin products because I want the glycerin to pull the moisture from the air into my skin, not from my skin out, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to pop the rest of it into my skin here. And then just to finish up, I'm going to use my favorite moisturizer. This is the Upcircle Face Moisturizer. This company is incredible. So basically they take discarded, um, products from other industries like coffee shops and whatnot. They have a lot of coffee based products from London coffee shops but anyway this is um, it smells so fucking good so this has the discarded powder from Argan shells from the Argan oil industry. Honestly like when I first got it and I said I, th I thought to myself that it's gonna have shell powder in it. This is gonna be so like it's gonna be like a walnut scrub but it's totally not. It's a rich luxurious cream and look at the way it just melts into my skin. I love it so much. It's such a good product. And then I just rip the rest into my hands. And that is it. That is my full nighttime skincare routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. And yeah, that's the whole damn thing. Now go 